Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Massive Sims and we are going to discuss the Sims 4 roadmap in just a few. But before we do that, I must give you an update on my life. I have gotten my provisional driver's license, so I am now a learner driver. So I've been practicing for a few times now, so I'm really happy about that. I have completed my mock exams. And I did fail one, economics to be specific, but we move. I mean, you know, it is difficult. It is a difficult subject and I do not recommend it because it is so difficult. But anyways, um, I am preparing for my external exams to go to university in September. So that is where I am right now. But so that is why you aren't seeing as much videos as I would like to upload on the channel as possible. So that is just to give you an idea of what my life is right now. So I, I am still in study mode, but let's get into the video. So The Sims 4 has um, uploaded or released three specific um, roadmap items for us. It says chic nights out, cozy nights in and go wild. One is a game pack and two of them are um, kits. Now let's talk about the kits first and foremost. We do know that we do not like like kits and stuff like that, but I mean, who are we to judge? Like, we have been over this before, and I think they need to pack it up. It's time for The Sims 4 to, you know, wrap up kits. Um, we haven't even got a stuff back, stuff back since, like, last year. Or I think it's more than a year right now. So who knows if we are getting stuff backs anymore? Who knows if that's a thing of the past? And it's something that we aren't looking forward to. But... The Go Wild one for the game packs is what is really intriguing because Go Wild, it could mean anything. But we are going to, you know, scope through a little bit more about that. Um, We went over to Twitter and speculations are rising. Everyone is thinking it's werewolves or something of that nature because, you know, it's outdoorsy. And I don't know. I really don't know what to say right now because it's so um vague because the sims 4 is known for things being vague and they aren't very specific with these roadmaps but the chic nights out are something that i think will give us a little more nightlife for going out dating i don't really know because we do have stuff like that before but they uploaded this video um on the second let's watch So in true fashion, I did went over to Twitter to see what are the, the um, Twitter users saying, but no one really knows because so many people are saying they don't know what it means. It's probably dark mode or a roadmap that seems more like a roadmap. It is a roadmap, yeah, but we see so much things being filled with nothing, if you know what I'm saying. So that video was uploaded on May 2nd of this year. and um. They uploaded another video on the third, which was yesterday. Let us look at it. <laughs> okay, once again, that did allude to werewolves. If you don't see werewolves, tell me what you see. Let me know in the comments. Like, is it something of uh, something far out than werewolves? Because it really seems like werewolves to me. There's nothing more because she's in a dark room. She was watching some love show and then this just came up out of nowhere. And it's just so weird. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Um, I don't know, but it's really alluding to werewolves to me. Like, this is giving off major nightlife scary vibes. Um, I can't wait to reveal, I can't wait for them to reveal, oh yeah, wanted werewolves, well, here's something entirely different, and I do agree with you, um, Masha Bear, I, I think that is, so I do agree with this person, because I think The Sims 4, like, kind of speculates different from us, in the terms of where they know what they're doing, um, it might be something totally different for real, but who am I to judge? Who am I to tell about this? Everyone is really wanting more expansion packs and we aren't really seeing that coming out for this summer. But let's see, it's only, um, this roadmap only speculates for um, May and June. So I don't know if we'll be getting an expansion pack in July prefer or even um, August to be of that fact. But 
I don't even know if they're doing one expansion pack per year now. We really don't know, but we need some more input from them. But if you watch the video that I just placed earlier, you can see this clip. This is showing something of a full moon and with a lakeside view of this huge rock and we don't know where it is. I did find out that it was not in Oasis Springs. So it's definitely some thing um speculating to like a new world perhaps i don't know um it's just, just me thinking outside of the box and this person did say that they remembered that um they um showed something that said that they thought werewolves were coming because of this murphy bed that was in the um sims for a tiny living so i don't know i really don't know but it's really good to see something like this um on the other hand, I really don't like occults. I should have been saying that in the first and foremost. But we went over to the Sims 4 um, community where it says werewolf history in the Sims. We've already seen them in Sims 3 Supernatural Expansion Pack alongside with vampires, witches, fairies, genies, and zombies. The theory isn't found sound, doesn't sound too far-fetched as we already have some of those in the Sims 4. Werewolves have been a staple in the Sims lore since Sims 3 making magic where it was possible to cast a, a beauty or beast spell on other Sims. Um, they continued with the Sims 2 pets where Sims could become werewolves when bitten by the leader of a pack transformed by the savage, savage interaction. Um, Sims 2 werewolves could fight burglars, train dogs, and if you could get sick, of the life as a night walking beast get cured by the gypsy matchmaker i mean it doesn't sound too far-fetched for real but um it also says possibilities for werewolves in the sims 4 what do all these werewolf um iterations have in common lunar year cycles and body hair they were a thing before and they could seamlessly work again with the existing calendar system, lunar cycle seems obvious and body hair, why don't we have that yet? Having in mind some of the other occult function in The Sims 4, werewolves could possibly work like vampires, aliens, or mermaids. With a human form and a supernatural form, in this case it would make sense to bring back the lycanthropy skill, since there has to be a top dog, <laughs> pun intended. Um, so yeah, it's kind of giving werewolf if you've not picked up already, but werewolf was in The Sims 3 as an expansion pack. Why aren't we getting an why aren't we getting an expansion pack right now? You know? Um, is it a case where well, we did get um vampires in a game pack, so it's not really far off because we're getting werewolf well, I don't want to say we're getting it, but it seems like we're getting werewolves in um this game pack for the sims 4 so i really don't know i really hope that they fix everything before releasing this like this user said and um i would like to see them more where it can be disabled because i really don't like playing with occults as i've said earlier they are not my favorite thing in the sims 4 so this doesn't really apply to me but um i really want to know what your guys thoughts are on this werewolf theme um am i being too far-fetched um is it something that you like let me know what are your favorites of course in the sims 4 mine personally would be the mermaids even though they are indeed lacking but i mean this is just not for me um i don't know but i conclude here it is um let me know what you guys think of this um please leave your comments in the comment section let me know what your thoughts are if i'm being too far-fetched if it's something like spot on i really want to know but it is what it is and I cannot change anything right now because, of course, I only record videos. But um, anyway, I really do hope that you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend that I will see you all. Bye, guys.